Hey, pleasure and good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Jeff Borg, and this is going to be a quick video on Zach Solchenko having a successful debut after James Reimer allowed six goals in the first period. A goalie that's been very good this year, a former Reading Royal, always cheering for James Reimer, but was not his day on Sunday against the Pittsburgh Penguins. But it was Zach Solchenko's day to come in and make a name for himself um, and be able to allow the Sharks to battle back uh, as well. Um, where they ended up pulling the goalie, and then Brian Rust uh, ended up getting an empty net goal. The only goal scored on Solchenko was Evan Rodriguez on the power play, uh, where he made three of four saves on that power play, and was 20 for 21, 17 of 17 on even strength, played most of the game, 38-32. Obviously, um, Reimer played the first period and struggled mightily. Uh, so Solchenko looked very good in his debut um, which is great to see. It's always fun to see the former ECHLers look good in their debut. His career at the Allen Americans was 242 and a 928 save percentage. I almost called them the Alien Americans for some reason. 10 13 and 2 uh, with a 327 goals against at the AHL level. He's a guy that I think is at very least going to be a very good uh, third stringer that eventually is going to be a late bloomer goaltender, if at not already a good backup in a year or two. I think his trajectory is honestly more likely of being able to be in that Gagorgia backup category where he can maybe eventually be a backup and work his way up a little bit more over time and get a little bit more uh, play time over time. Um, as a youngster that would uh, then th learn from somebody like, say, James Reimer, or a veteran that's been there doing that and been in net for a while around the league uh, and has had success like Reimer has anywhere he's gone, somebody like that, a good veteran, an anti-Ranta if he stays healthy, anybody like that fits into that type of category. But I think Solchenko is going to be a good goaltender, all things considered. But this also, I think, gives me a good spot to be able to do my Allen Americans a uh, new year report and uh, check in on how the overall team's doing uh, since he is an alumnus of the Allen Americans, uh, Zach Solchenko. So we might as well check in on their overall performance um, of their team this far, which is 12, 9, and 3 uh, in 24 games played this far for 27 uh, points. Uh, the Allen Americans are 12 and 9, as I just said. They have allowed Far too many goals. Uh, 95 goals in 24 games is way too many. But to obviously balance that out to be with the record is their offense is also really good. 82 goals in 24 games is very good. And it's not because of their power play. 17 for 92 is not very good. 75 for 96 on the penalty kill is solid. Um, but they got to be able to balance out their great offense with better defense. Um, the Allen Americans would be much better in the next tilt, their next 20 some set of games let's say 25 games um they will be much better in that stretch if they can balance out their good offense that is already there already fine 82 goals in 24 games that's spectacular get your power play going more that's the only proponent of your offense you got to get that defense going though your penalty kills all right it's solid but your overall defense 95 goals in 24 games that's not going to get you anywhere that's not going to get you in the kelly cup playoffs and that's not going to get you competing for anything uh, this team is already not in that great of a spot now. They're in fifth place, uh, but they're only two points behind the Tulsa Warriors. This division is still really close. They can make it up, but if you keep playing a defense that you're giving up that putrid level of goals each game, it's going to be really tough because your offense is going to have to be the component that keeps winning you games despite your defense and at times despite struggle in goaltending, but you have to be able to give up uh, less goals on that team, whether it's on the goaltender or whether it's on the defense. That's the number one component for me as I do my New Year report on the Allen Americans combined with this Zach Solchenko announcement. That's my big thing for them to be able to fix if they want to get better going forward. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the hockey. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content.